Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. So the Bulls owner doesn't want to trade with the Lakers as it could help LeBron James to surpass Michael Jordan. And see, that's loyalty and I respect that. But I will say this. Even if LeBron wins another chip, he's not going to surpass Michael Jordan. No, he's not. But I love the mindset, you know, I, I love that. Like, don't help. You know, he always needs more help. You know, he needs more superstars. The man always have to have at least three stars on his team. Him and AD can't get it done. As if that team is not good enough. Are you serious? But this proves he's not a GOAT. The man always needs more help. And I respect the Bulls owner for saying, hell no. I'm not going to help the Lakers win more chips. Why would I do that? And I respect that because I wouldn't do that, especially for LeBron. No, I'm not helping this man win anything. So now he could run around and be like, I think I'm the GOAT because, you know, I finally have five championships. I got a bubble chip and I got four chips. The fifth one I won because I was a third wheel. But you know what? It don't even matter. I still got a chip. So now I feel like I'm the GOAT. You know, I'm the all-time leading scorer. And I just won these cheap chips by riding somebody's coattail. I know I'm the GOAT. And that's exactly what LeBron would be saying or thinking. But I respect that, man. I'm not going to help you win anything. I'm not hating on LeBron. Like, like I said, I don't dislike the guy. I just don't like what he stands for. So I don't hate him. It's just the way he do things I don't respect, man. Like this dude is always throwing people under the bus. He's not accountable, you know. And I don't like that stuff. He's always self-proclaiming. That's another thing I really don't like. Let us decide who the GOAT is. Let us rank you. Let us decide your placement amongst the greats. We don't need you to tell us where you think you should be, where you feel you need to be. We don't need that. And he does that a lot, and that rubs me the wrong way. And that rubs a lot of fans the wrong way, because nobody want to hear that. Magic never did that. Kareem, MJ, Kobe, Larry Bird, Shaq, Tim Duncan, Hakeem, Isaiah Thomas. I could go on and on. Nobody else did that. Everybody played the game, you know, did their thing, put in their work, retired, and we decide, okay, this guy belongs here based on his accomplishments, his winning, etc. But you don't need to be telling us where you need to be, where we should place you. No. So I like what the Bulls owner is doing, man. I'm not helping this dude win a goddamn thing. And I feel like that's how a lot of organization should fail toward the Lakers when it comes to LeBron. I'm not helping this man win anything. Why? Why would I help you win? How is that benefiting my franchise? I'm not helping you win anything. So you know the Bulls, they're reluctant to trade with the Lakers. And part of that could be because, yes, the loyalty to Michael Jordan, what this man stands for, you know, as a player, for Chicago, the organization, what he did for the NBA, you know, we got to hold some kind of loyalty. We got to stand 10 toes down and we are not helping the Lakers under no circumstance. Sorry, we can't do it. And I respect that. That's how I would feel. That would be my approach. I can't do it. Michael Jordan will always be the GOAT. That's been over with, but I'm not going to do anything, make any moves to help LeBron's legacy. I'm not doing it. This man don't deserve any help. I'm being real with you. The man has gotten so much help through his entire career. The man has been getting help for eternity. The fact of the matter is he underachieved. If he did what he was supposed to with all the help he have gotten from Cleveland, Miami, the Lakers, he could have been the GOAT. He could have been the undisputed GOAT. No argument, no debates. But he fell short because he doesn't have it in him. He's a great player, just not Michael Jordan great. Just not Kareem great. Just not Kobe Bryant great. He's not. But of course, the media and his delusional fans and fanboys you can't convince them because they don't know any better. You know, I understand. Most of them don't know any better. All they know is LeBron. That's it. They don't know any better. So you got to bear with them. So the Bulls rarely make trades with the Lakers. That's the two NBA teams that you rarely see in trades. It's very rare. You know, and some are speculating. The reason why is because the Bulls owner 
They don't want the Lakers to win. More so, they don't want LeBron to win any more chips to surpass Michael Jordan. They don't want to support LeBron's legacy. And I respect that. Whether it's true or not, that's what I would have done. He don't deserve help. Look at all the help he have gotten. The man have gotten the most help in the history of the NBA. And this is a fact. No great player have ever gotten so much help LeBron have gotten. And what have he done with it? Nothing. Yeah, he won a few chips, but let's be honest. LeBron should have had at least six chips minimum. I don't care if he lost six times or he went to 10 NBA Finals. This man should have gotten six chips at minimum. He should have three-peated one time in Miami. How do you have Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, Ray Allen, yourself, and you never three-peated? That sounds crazy. But like I said, man, the man have gotten all the help he could have gotten. You know, he didn't make the best of it, didn't make the most of it. And the man is still crying for help in year 22 almost. He's still crying for help. You know, the Bulls haven't traded with the Lakers often, rarely. And a lot of speculation is because of MJ. They don't want to help LeBron James, you know, add to his legacy, win more chips. And I don't blame him. If that's the case, I don't blame him. I would do the same damn thing. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.